What if I told you that you could potentially get into the sport of rowing or check out the sport of rowing at a much lower cost than what any of the traditional rowing boats cost. It was far more convenient to have access to and wouldn't take quite as much time. Would that be something that was interesting to you? Because I checked with a lot of our audience on social media, on Instagram, and as well in the community tab here, and a lot of you guys have said, yeah, I would love to try real rowing. I don't even know how to get started. Well, today, I'm gonna talk about a potential solution that could give you much easier access. Okay, it's 4.45. I am here at the water, ready for morning practice. This is rowing, being up way before dawn and being the first ones on the water. Why? There are a couple reasons. It's because that's when you get the clearest water. It's typically not windy at this time of day. And then also you get less boat traffic, so there are no power boats out that are creating wake that are making it not fun. Glassy water is the ideal. So I'm actually going out on a big boat this morning. I've been practicing sculling lately today. I am in an eight, which is a sweep rowing boat. I'm getting into an eight for the Crew Classic, which is a large regatta here in San Diego coming up. And uh, I decided I'm gonna commit myself to a boat. So one of the toughest parts about rowing is the fact that I can't give you this easily and that is probably one of my biggest frustrations. I wish that I could take what I'm giving you guys on indoor rowing and give you the real experience of rowing because frankly, that is super magical. Getting onto the water is why I fell in love with this sport and it's something I wish I could give everybody because there's like so much more to the sport than just indoor and indoor is this amazing test of fitness but the outdoor is what can give you such a, like it's a vitality behind the sport. It like gives you something very tangible, I guess, is, is what I've always felt, is I can walk away from a practice and I got to see the sunrise and I know that I got my workout done. You can see my hair is still wet <laughs> from practicing and showering. And so you get to take this away into your day and begin your days this way. And I, I don't know, maybe it's just me. There's something that doesn't, it just doesn't land the same when it's on an indoor rowing machine and I really, would love to be able to give you guys this opportunity, but up until now, that's been a really hard thing to do. Trying real rowing is something that personally, I never thought I'd be able to do. I grew up in Minnesota. Okay, are you sure? Yeah, darn tootin'. I'm sorry, sir. Ah, oh, what the Christ. But yes, we were surrounded by lakes, but I was in rural Minnesota. That's not, there's no rowing out there. It just doesn't exist. We're surrounded by cornfields. Rowing is not a sport. As far as I knew, it was East Coast only and prep schools. That was all I knew about rowing. And I think a lot of people feel the same way about it. But what if I told you there was a solution that allowed you to consider rowing wherever you are, as long as there's just some kind of water nearby that didn't require that you join a rowing club or buy a $10,000 carbon fiber shell. What if there was a faster, easier way to find that solution? Before I get to that, let's really quickly talk about why it can seem so inaccessible. Number one, rowing shells are ridiculously expensive because they're beautiful machines, frankly. For a, a single, a, a one, a boat that fits one person, a single, you could, if you're spending top dollar, you could look at spending 10 plus thousand dollars just for the boat. That because it's full carbon fiber, then you need to get oars. Oars are gonna be expensive as well. Then you need a place to store that boat, which takes up quite a bit of space because of the length of these things. Then you're going to need the, generally the uniform that comes with it, some kind of spandex tights, but that's not too, too expensive. And then if you do have a place to store it, you're generally gonna be paying a membership there just to keep the boat there. And so therein become a lot of the costs that get wrapped into rowing as a sport as well. You generally want a coach with you on the water because these things are really tippy. They're V-shaped holes. They flip quickly. You don't want to go swimming if you can avoid it. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> and so inherently, this sport looks inaccessible. Now, even the, the regular sport of rowing can be more accessible than you might think. That's how I found it, for example, was just once I got to college. I thought I was going to be a baseball player. Didn't end up happening. I found rowing, I fell in love, and I didn't have to pay for those boats. I wasn't paying for membership, I was on a college team. But now I'm a member of the rowing club here, and it's $75 a month. That's actually pretty reasonable for me to be able to get out on the water and row as much as I want. Then, if we're talking about an eight, 
I mean, those things are $60,000 for a shell. 60, six zero, sixty thousand dollars for a shell. Not to mention all the ores, because now you have to buy eight of them. You can't just buy one, you have to buy eight ores. Plus you have to make sure that you have space to store that. They're 60 feet long. That's a massive, you need a lot of space to store that. So yeah, that becomes a very challenging obstacle to allow people to row, and it's why, I believe, so often many of you end up just on the indoor rowing machine, because that's the extent to which you can foresee an opportunity to try rowing on the water, which is a beautiful sport. And again, I gotta say, that's what made me fall in love with rowing. It wasn't the rowing machine. It's being out in the morning, being the first person in San Diego to see the sunrise. It's rowing through the fog like we did today at practice and you get to breathe the fresh air, you get to feel the sun on your face, like I am right now, and you get to have this amazing quiet that happens out on the water when there are no vehicles around, there are no other people, there's nothing, you're just on the water, isolated from the rest of the world in this really beautiful environment. So, if I told you, like I said at the beginning, that we could fix that and give you the opportunity to experience that at a much lower cost, with less time and easier accessibility, would that sound interesting? And I think it should, and I'm super excited to introduce you to what I'm about to talk about. So about a year and a half ago, I did a, a three month stint living in France with my family. We just decided, we, we just had our daughter, we decided we were gonna up and move and see if we liked living in Europe, so we gave it a three month try. While I was there, depending on how long you've been around the channel, I filmed a vlog about staying fit while we were in France. And during that vlog, I went into a sporting goods store called Decathlon. It was my first time hearing about Decathlon. And when I found it, I was blown away. It was this really, it was, I mean, it was a massive sporting goods store, but outside they had a full gym, they had trampolines, they had a basketball court, they had a mini indoor soccer stadium, all of it totally free and accessible to everybody. You didn't have to be a shopper to go there. You could just walk in, use all of that outside. Then inside, I found, it was nuts. I found products for literally every sport. So I filmed that vlog, we did our thing in France, I came back. So out of the blue, about six months ago, I get an email from Decathlon, of all companies, that says, hey, we saw your vlog, and we're interested in talking about rowing. Now this is interesting because noticeably the one sport, of course I noticed it, probably not many other people noticed it, the one sport that decathlon was missing was rowing. And they said, we'd like to get into rowing. So I immediately jumped on it, we chatted, and here's where we are today. I've been working with them on this project that isn't finished yet. So with decathlon, I am working to build essentially a product that's gonna let you find rowing without having to buy an entire rowing shell, spend a ton of money, and is actually gonna let you use a product that currently exists, but it's not finished yet. And this is the cool part, I need your help, honestly. Like, I need your input and I need you guys to contribute and look at it, tell me what you think, tell me how you'd use it, tell me what would just make this easier for you so that at the end of this, you end up with the thing that you're like, yes, that is what I've been looking for. So frankly, it just doesn't make sense to build this thing in a bubble because I know the sport of rowing, I love the sport of rowing, I love indoor rowing, you guys love indoor rowing, and I've always been trying to find a way to bridge the gap. Well, this is honestly that that thing. It's essentially a way to turn a stand-up paddleboard into a shell and allow you to row without having to buy a shell because stand-up paddleboards are everywhere. You can buy inflatable ones at Costco. This would simply work with a paddleboard to allow you to find rowing. Now, I think that's cool, but maybe you don't. I need to hear that from you, and Decathlon needs to hear that from you so that at the end of this thing, we're not building it in a, in a void, that, that this thing comes out as something you would want to use. So all I'm asking from this is that right now, I'm gonna drop the link in the description below, but go to newcrew.decathlon.com and sign up and start just contributing. I'm gonna be dropping questions in there, asking you what you think. We're gonna show the latest photos of what this thing looks like, and you're gonna see in an upcoming video, I'm actually going to Decathlon's headquarters in France to show you what this product is. I'm gonna test it out. You're gonna see it, for, you're gonna be the first ones to see it. And so this is the start of the journey. Once you've signed up for your profile, I want you to take a screenshot of it and post it to Instagram, tagging at Dark Horse Rowing and at Decathlon USA. From there, I'm gonna start collecting everybody's screenshots and I'm gonna 
gonna put them into a storyline that I will be responding to. You're gonna see me posting about you guys and your experiences with this and your feedback on it. So I need your help on this and I would really love if you guys would contribute here because I wanna see this thing become what you want. Now what's so exciting for me about this is that honestly the mission of Decathlon and the mission of Dark Horse are two things that align really closely and you guys know I don't do sponsored videos this is the first company that I've decided to partner with. Our missions align very closely. And what's amazing is that Decathlon believes in making sport accessible to everyone and that cost should not be a limiter to your ability to participate in a sport. And frankly, I could not agree with that more. It's why just because you don't have a X machine, that doesn't matter. You can still participate in the sport. And it it's always been frustrating for me that I can't give everybody rowing because rowing seems expensive and this is a way to break down that barrier and to give everybody a chance and frankly as partners I am stoked about this. So one more time make sure you go to newcrew.decathlon.com create a profile and join me in there to contribute. You guys are the R&D team and essentially you get to build what you want to see. And now for some gratuitous motivational rowing shots. So come and light me up. Even that amps me up, like I'm excited. I would love to see you guys jump into this with me. I really want your input so that we can make something fantastic together. In the description, click on newcrew.decathlon.com, head in there, join me, make a comment, take a picture of that comment, post it on Insta, tagging Dark Horse Rowing and Decathlon USA, and I'm gonna interact with you guys there so that we can really start to build a conversation and make something really awesome together.